Street, a former Bush 43 deputy assistant, Brad Blakeman. Um, Brad, we'll never know the degree to which these two, you know, fought with each other on a variety of issues, as the president outlined in that Bloomberg exchange. But was it overstated or was it about accurate? Well, I think it was about accurate. <laughs> uh, you had two hard-willed uh, people who just didn't get along. <clears throat> and John McCain, nobody's ever left a meeting with John McCain wondering, gee, I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> he tells you exactly what he's thinking. And by the way, the president can be brutally honest as well. Uh, so you had a clash of personalities. But the good news is that's what's so great about our country. We can have leaders who have disagreements, but at the end of the day, it's all about the country. It's what's in the best interest of the country. John McCain's whole life was about service, whether it was in the military or whether it was in the Senate. And his life is to be celebrated. His legacy is to re be remembered. And he, he's an example for every American that there is nothing that we can't do in this country if we put our mind to it. And by the way, Republicans don't have the best ideas. Democrats don't have the best ideas. It's when we come together and compromise that our country moves forward. Nobody has a lock on it. And that was his, that was the way he really lived his life. Yeah, you know, when people forget, I mean, there's been a great deal of focus on the president's relationship with John McCain. It was nine years ago this very month, of course, uh, when Ted Kennedy had passed away, the same brain tumor that ultimately felled his, his Arizona buddy, uh, John McCain, um, that much was made of the tensions uh, between the Kennedy family and the Carters. Uh, Jimmy Carter was president, of course, faced a challenge from Senator Kennedy for, for the party's nomination in 1980, and to say that it was tense was probably an understatement, even upon death. Now, uh, so these things are not new, but I'm wondering whether they serve as a reminder how difficult it is, even within parties, for people of different points of view to get stuff done. I mean, in the end, that's what it's all about, trying to get stuff done. Well, you know, the old adage, if you want a friend in Washington, get a dog. <laughs> uh, it, the same thing can be said even more so for, for the people who are supposed to be in your own family politically. Sometimes they can be even more treacherous than your adversaries. Uh, it's a brutal sport, politics. Uh, but we all are Americans. I have some of my best friends in Washington are Democrats. My business partner was a senior advisor to, uh, to Bill Clinton as president. Um, at the end of the day, I, I like to think of it as the roadrunner and the coyote <laughs> cartoon. You, you fight like hell, then when five o'clock comes, you're the best of friends. And that's the way John McCain was. He fought like hell, he was honest in his differences, but at the end of the day, you were his friend. You, and he respected you, whether you're a Republican or Democrat, whoever you are. Uh, if your intentions were good, if they were honest, you were a friend of John McCain. Yeah. I think John Kennedy got it best, right, when he said, at our core, we're all human beings. We all breathe the same air. So you got maybe it. we just look at that big picture. We'll be okay. Uh, thank you, my friend. Excellent as always.